Yo, hello my people, this is Zomek, and today uh, it's like a throwback for me since I've done Immortal Technique before and I've done that legendary song of his called Dance of the Devil I hate that song <laughs> and I don't actually hate it, no, no, not really I just I don't ever want to listen to it again I heard it once, I've seen few people react to it that's it, I remember that song well enough, I just know. That's like saddest song I've ever heard in my life, so no, I don't need that. Um, and when I heard his song with Diabolic, I think it was called Frontlines. Yeah, that song was good. And when I listened to his other song, I don't remember the name. So I have a bit of history with Immortal Technique. All those three reactions were on this channel. They might be from a few years ago, so they might have very low quality, so if you want to watch, just a warning. Um, yeah, so I found this old suggestion, maybe not very old, but still, on the old, on the old case, I guess, I don't know, who cares. The third world, I never heard it, I'm glad that there's lyrics, and yeah, he's probably gonna say a lot of crazy stuff that I'll try to understand. Let's go. Yeah. Interesting beat. The Mortal Technique has the style a bit similar to K. Reno. With the stuff they rap about. Slave castles where the water is cursed from where police brutality's not half as nice. It makes the hood in America look like paradise. What is this place? The AIDS infest the Caribbean slum, African streets with a passport to an American gun from where they massacre people and try to keep it quiet and spend the next 25 years trying to deny it. Up from where they cut your hands off if you make a fist and niggas throw coke out because the job market doesn't exist. Oh, yeah, I remember. Isn't he from like. Middle America or maybe South America, not USA, you know, continent. Yay, so now it all makes sense. I was like, it's not America, it's not Africa. What is he talking about? I mean, it's not USA. Yeah, I don't remember. Isn't he like from Puerto Rico? I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but he's like. Like I said, from Middle America or South America. I don't remember, but yeah, okay. He said, when he said, a place where people grow coca, and it instantly hit my head, but it can be Colombia, or Cuba, no way. Which one is like the most, the best at drugs? <laughs> I don't know, but he's not one of those, I think. I don't know, but yeah, it, ma it makes sense, because the job market doesn't exist. The place is awful. Cut your hands off if you make a fist And niggas throw coke on cause the job market doesn't exist No set slave labor, modern day company store And peacekeepers don't ever, ever, ever come here no more From where the bombs that they used to drop on Vietnam Still as children born, deform eight months before they gone Oh From where they lost the true meaning of the Quran Cause heroin is not compatible with Islam And niggas know that Wait So I guess he'll his country is somewhere near the, near one of the places where USA would test their atomic bombs. They would throw them in the, in the water or in some place where nobody lives. But since that radiation and stuff, you know, it has a very high spread. Sometimes the kind of that people who throw those bombs, they don't expect that kind of spread. Yeah. Like, I could relate to bombs, I mean, my country, because we live very close to Ukraine. Well, not very close, but pretty close, and there were people from my country who went, you know, to save people when Chernobyl disaster happened. And that disaster reached our country a bit, so, yeah, I get it. Oh, bombs on Vietnam? It wasn't about Japan anyway. 
niggas know that, but grow that poppy seed anyway. Cause that fool's rap parachute does not come every day. I'm from where people pray to the gods that they conquer us, and practically every president's a money lord. You're up from where the only so I'm still waiting for him to say which country exactly. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's life in those countries is awful. I mean, is that what he's saying? They're they like former Mayans? Like people who lived in that place where Mayans before? Because he said where people pray to the gods of their conquerors. Because those Spanish people, what, what were they called? Com Coman no. Conquistadors? Were, was that the name? Who were the people who came from the Spain to like liberate or whatever? You know, to take home of uh, of uh, natives there we gave we gave those blankets with diseases well i don't think they actually had disease well, i don't know if he gets to that we'll talk about it no it's not worth it but yeah presidents are very very bad people there i mean there's good countries where presidents are also bad people but their presidents are very they're always all about the money well, not always, that's impossible, but like most of the times, I guess. I hope he says the country's name in the song. From where the only place democracy is acceptable is if America's candidate is electable. And they might even have a black president, but he's useless because he does not control the economy, stupid. Lock and load your gun where I'm from the third world. Sign to many places, but I'm third world born. Gorillas hit and run where I'm from the third world. Son, you polluted everything and now the third world's gone. The water's poisoned where I'm from the third world. Son, 700. Children died by the end of the revolution to come where I'm from the third world, son. Constant occupation leaves the third world torn. Out from where the Catholic Church is some race. Yeah, I, 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 I remember doing these songs by, by native American uh, rappers, and there were songs where they talked about how. Rich people, rich white people came to their home and they had water, they had water pipes, you know, pipelines and they destroyed those. So now they have no water and they throw all the stuff into the water. So even if they have water, that water might be poisoned. It's just awful stuff. And when you're rich, um, you might care less. When you're like average people or you poor yourself and especially if you live there that's that's the people who care but they have less power so and i don't think it can be changed i don't know something really special must happen in the world for it to change but at the moment that's how the world is and it sucks it's an awful place Constant occupation leaves the third world torn. Out from where the Catholic Church is some racist shit. They help Europe and America rape this bitch. They pray to white Spanish Jesus, whose face is this? But never talk about the black Pope Galatius. Out from where Soviet weapons still decide elections. Militaries like the mafia, you pay for protection. Cat I'm from a country who's used to be part of the Soviet Union, and we even have. Well, we're. We're destroying those statues but we even still have 30 years later some of those soviet union special people statues but since russia attacked ukraine we we are ripping those off we're destroying all that stuff and yeah soviet it was basically usa and soviet union and those countries like battled for other countries like what happened in vietnam Soviet Union was helping North Vietnam and America, South Vietnam. Some same thing happened in 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 Korea, and then there were countries who those two countries were battling for in South America, and that's why in those former or current communist South American countries, there there they still have those Soviet weapons. Russia themselves are still using those old broken Soviet Union weapons against Ukraine. It's not working great, thank God. 
Um, military is like the mafia, you pay for protection. Yeah, yeah, military don't do shit in those countries. Mafia is the rules. I've seen like most of the first season of Naruto, so I get it. Weapons still decide elections. Militaries like the mafia, you pay for protection. Catamite sex tours is what the country sells. And rich white businessmen make the best clientele. I'm from where they too pussy to come film survivor. And they murder Coca Cola union organizers. What? I'm from where the justice system is not podrido. Fuck government, niggas, politic over perico. Rebel de conocido. I don't speak Spanish. Wait, I don't think I don't think Immortal Technique is from Argentina. I doubt that. I mean, he might be. He knows better than I do. But I think I remember other countries, something smaller like Puerto Rico. Not because I just saw Rico. That's a different thing. Um, that made me laugh. He's from the place where we're too pussy to come film Survivor. Yeah. Yeah, we film Survivor on like those vacation islands most of the time where people go for a vacation. Well, or on islands where actually nobody lives. And we're not close to countries like where communism is still a thing. I don't get this one. And they murder called union organizers. I guess in his country the kind of thing happened where People who work for Coca-Cola, they were like we want to make we wanted to make a union, we wanted to like get better payment for the, for doing their job and they get and they got murdered. Is that a thing? Cause that's awful. I never heard that stuff, so what else? Yeah, he talked started talking Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. Uh what else? What else? Yeah, sneakers for a quarter a day. That's like in China. You know how they make everything for a quarter a day. Like, my country is one of the more poor countries of Europe. But when, and we have a lot of people who are like, Oh, this country sucks. I don't want to live here. Pay. They don't pay enough me. I'm going to other country. But we don't even... Think about how in other countries, there are countries in Africa, in Asia, in South America where they don't get paid anything at all, we could say. Like, I don't know, how do they survive? I don't know, quarter a day? How do you live off that? I have no idea. Fly to the CIA and motherfuckers make sneakers for a quarter a day. I'm from where they overthrow democratic leaders. Not for the people, but for the Wall Street Journal readers. From where blacks, indigenous peoples, and Asians were once slaves of the Caucasians. And it's amazing how they trained them to be racist against themselves in a the place they was raised in. You kept us caged in, destroyed our culture, and said that you civilized us. Raped our women, and when we were born, you despised us. Gentrified us, Asian provocateur divide us and crucified every revolutionary messiah so i'm a start a global riot it's not even your fake anti-communist dictators can keep quiet fuck your charity medicine try to murder me the immunizations you gave us were full of mercury so now i see the third world like the rap game soldier nationalize the industry and take it over lock and load your gun where i'm from the third world son in many places but i'm third world born gorillas hit and run where i'm from the third world son you polluted everything and now the third world's gone The water's poison Where I'm from the third world, son 700 children died by the end of the song Revolution will come Where I'm from the third world, son Constant occupation Leaves the third world torn Yeah Concrete jump So, it threw me off a bit because in the end he was talking to something that sounded like what happened in USA with all the racism and all the, you know, different races. So, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. 
But don't tell me that he was wrote song talking about USA. Because when everything I said... Well, maybe not everything, but most of the thing it doesn't make any sense. Maybe it still does. I don't know. But what I like is that it's this classic immortal technique that I'm used to. You know what you're gonna get, and you know that you're gonna need lyrics. And you're gonna have to stop a lot and think about it. Because it's not your son's mumble rap. It's real man, um, thinking man rap. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Immortal Technique's cool. I, I didn't forget about him. Those few songs that I've heard, they're still in my mind, so... I'm, I'm just... I, like, got reminded of what kind of a person I reacted to before. So, yeah, cool stuff. I enjoyed it. Maybe I even learned something. I don't know... Also, I need to know which country he's from. Maybe I'll find out myself. Maybe. So, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and guys, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.